My role in uh, CT scans, CAT scans, as a medical physicist is really to help train the operators on how to drive them. Sometimes we call them CT scanner drivers. Um, I'm also involved in setting up the pre-programmed uh, parameter settings so that the right amount of radiation gets used for the right kind of exam. Uh, we're very, very careful with kids in particular because they can be more sensitive to radiation exposure than adults can. So we have a whole big, long list of very specially designed protocol parameters for kids. So I help with that and uh, in the state of Texas, once a year, we are bound by law to go in and test these machines and make sure that they're performing according to our criteria. And so I'm involved with that. Whenever we get a new scanner in, there's a huge list of tests that we run to make sure it's working exactly perfectly. Because we don't want to get a lemon. We want the, you know, all the very expensive medical equipment to be just top notch and ready to roll. So I'm involved in a lot of that. I also teach. We have a graduate school here, a graduate program for medical physics, and so I'm involved in, in a lot of that. We have uh, graduate students who have projects that always need uh, help and attention, so I've got a couple of students right now that I'm working with on different things. In the research area, we have these CT scanners that are sized for animals. So we have uh, a, a sort of a bench top CT scanner Instead of filling a room like it would for a patient, it's, it's on a bench top and it's for mice and rats. So it's a little bitty a miniaturized CT scanner that we use for a, a lot of um, cancer tumor studies. And we've developed some, I think, some of the best imaging uh, techniques here uh, compared to anybody else, especially in lung imaging. We're really, really good at getting great images of teeny tiny little mice and, and lung tumors. So I do a lot of that. We've got another scanner, CT scanner, in the research area that's used for, for specimens. So this could be animal specimens or human specimens. And then we've got uh, another one that's really sort of cutting edge that has similar properties to a patient scanner, but much, much better resolution. So we're trying to figure out the best application for that kind of a device.